requires sacrifice. What did you hope to find from all these experiments? Since the Malachor never reached this island, I wanted to check if these savages were sensitive to it. And I discovered that they were naturally resistant. Do you realize the implications of this discovery? So I tried to isolate this resistance to develop a cure in order to send it to the people on the continent. But I doubt that you will be able to understand the subtlety of such an approach. Come on, Afra, my dear student. Will you let these narrow-minded inquisitors decide my fate? Are you not also devoted to science and truth? Science and truth do not excuse your lack of humanity. I'm ashamed of having been taught by you, and that I didn't warn Burren that you'd gone mad. If I had, we could have prevented all of this. You disappoint me so much, Afra. A second time. When I think what I wasted trying to teach you science. We learned everything we wanted to know. This lab will close and you will answer for everything you have done. You think so? Gods, capture these people! Asili has locked himself in his office. The door is too We must find the key. To my help! And death to the others! Stop! Think of my knowledge. All that I have accomplished. That can never disappear. You will answer for your crimes in court. But I'll be out soon. My colleagues will understand the importance of my work. We shall see about that. I can't believe it. Constantine's Malachor was caused by a silly. The potion we were made to drink when we landed on the island was contaminated. How dare he do such a thing? And why? I'm sorry, Greenblood. I never thought someone would try to kill him that way. This note carefully describes the sequence of the experiments. There are even sketches. It's hard not to feel sick. This is proof of all the horrors committed here. Perfect. We just have to clear the way. The mechanism doesn't work. I need to take a closer look.
Let's go. I found a way out of the city. But be careful. You are weakened, and creatures roam these tunnels. I will lead the way. free you have saved our lives how can we thank you we will never forget what you have done for us on all menawi yes we will always be grateful 
We're not very far from the Hikmet outpost. You will have to be careful. I know how to reach the port without being seen. Perfect. As for you, you should take refuge in Vikshadir. You will be safe there, but you should avoid the Alliance patrols. We'll get there. Kwa'awal and Segwin. I'm glad you came to see me. I wanted to talk to you. I'm listening. I'm still a bit inexperienced when it comes to these emotional things. My feelings and my desires. But I believe that we share something unique. That a bond has been created between us. And if you were so inclined, I'd love to spend some time alone with you. It would be my pleasure. Meet me outside my room the next time we return to my house. I... Uh, I'll be there. Anything else? I must leave you. Your Excellency, Lord de Sade, and to what do I owe this honor? I've been to Asili's laboratory, and what I discovered was abominable. Hundreds of poor souls tortured, victims of horrifying experiments. There were so many dead that a pit had been dug to burn the bodies. How horrifying. I cannot believe it. The natives were not the only victims of these crimes. There are also a number of noughts. Noughts? Pardon me for doubting you, but do you have proof of what you say? And have you brought Dr. Asili to me so he may answer these accusations? Yes, we captured him. Really? Very well. I will ensure that he is judged as quickly as possible. What was done with the prisoners that were being held in the laboratory? They were freed. The Denea Exregau are satisfied and should call off their attack. What a relief. Finally, some good news. How can I repay you? By allowing me to take part in the trial proceedings. What I saw merits justice, and I fear that the accused will find a great many defenders amongst his fellow savants. It is a rather novel request, but granted. I shall inform the prosecutor. Let us remember that the madness of a man should not cast a shadow upon the greater sum of his work. His research is perhaps our only chance of discovering a remedy. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lord. Greetings. I hope I'll soon receive the book I ordered. The boat coming from Al Saad should arrive shortly. I'm way too busy, sorry. I hope I'll soon receive the book I ordered. I'm way too busy. Sorry. I hope I'll soon receive the book I ordered. The boat coming from... Greetings! Did you know that our scholars are working tirelessly to find an ant? I'm sorry, I don't have... Did you know that... I'm sorry, I don't have time to chat.
Greetings. Ah, that would not be a good thing at all. Hello. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? De Sade. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. Governor Burren told me to pay you a visit. Oh. It is you who arrested Dr. Asili and must help me prepare the trial. Exactly. Excellent. We will have lots to do if we want the doctor to pay for his crimes. The accused has a lot of support. Any evidence and testimonies you can gather will be useful. We'll have no problem gathering witnesses. His laboratory cells were full of them. We will call them to the witness box, of course. But be aware that if the victims are natives, their words will unfortunately not carry much weight here. There were also some noughts. Perhaps I could convince some of the doctor's colleagues to talk. Their testimony will be crucial. The word of other scholars is likely to be the only thing that condemns him. That plus any material evidence you can gather. I picked up a strange powder in the laboratory. A substance that I've not been able to identify. You should show it to an alchemist. We need to know what it is to be able to use it. These documents describe Dr. Asili's work, as well as the horrible experiments he was performing. Perfect. I will read them in detail. We will no doubt find something to support my prosecution. I have found a letter proving that Dr. Asili voluntarily transmitted the Malachor to my cousin, Constantin Dorsey. I would like to add that I too was a victim of this poisoning. Did the accused try to take the life of the governor of New Serene? This is an extremely serious crime. Indeed. He saw my cousin and me as the ideal control group to prove his theories. And no humanitarian or diplomatic consideration could put a stop to his ambition. This letter alone is crucial proof. I will put it on our file. Do we have any chance of winning? Yes, I am rather confident. You have provided overwhelming evidence. But if we had witnesses, we would have an even bigger chance of winning. I will return to you soon. The Nort should be at the port, and the islanders had to take refuge in Vikshadir. As for the scientists, they said they would go back to the governor's laboratory. I should give this powder to someone who can tell me what it is. Sade, I'm happy to see you. Can I do anything for you? I would like you to tell me about Asili. I was expecting you to come and see me about this. What would you like to know? Were you aware of Dr. Asili's experiments? In part, yes. That's why I chose not to be his student any longer. Why not say anything? Because I never thought he would go so far. Over time, he became more and more cruel. I found his approach brutal. As if by meeting the natives it deprived him of all humanity. He spoke of them as test subjects, never as people. But there was a time when he was the greatest doctor and scientist in the Alliance. And I clung on to that memory. You do know that you were captured thanks to him? Yes, but I thought the natives wanted to trade us merely as prisoners of war. I was blind. And stupid. I regret it terribly. Do you think, as your master does, that science justifies all sacrifices? No. I may have believed that at one time, without of course ever imagining that we'd resort to such cruel treatment. But Duncus, you and Siora have opened my eyes to the limits of science. To worship it as we do in the Alliance does not make us better than Teleme. In your opinion, were the horrors practiced in this laboratory necessary for his research? No, even if he was convinced of it. 
general interest outweighs the suffering of a few individuals. He wanted results quickly, to the point of neglecting slower, more humane methods. I hope we'll succeed in ensuring these experiments never happen again. Would you be willing to testify against Dr. Asili during his trial? Of course. I was going to talk to you about that. I want to convince my colleagues that we must give up these kind of methods. And even if it costs me dearly, I want my master to pay for what he did. Anything else? I must leave you. Hello. I see that you're back to work. Indeed. We were not bothered thanks to you. And here I can make myself useful. But I don't think you're here to ask about me. What can I do for you? What do the other scholars think of Dr. Asili now that his actions have been revealed for all to see? Most still admire him greatly. He is was the greatest amongst us, you know? They didn't witness what was happening in the lab, and they have little interest in the natives. For them, the main problem is political, given that the war against the rebels cost us dearly. Until they understand the horrors that happened there, they will not have any moral issues. I discovered this strange powder in one of the laboratory's chests. Do you know what it is? I did see the doctor using it once or twice, but I don't know what it is. But I can study it for you if you want. I have the tools that will allow me to do so here. So? What is it? It is a quintessence of black blood. Probably created using the blood of numerous patients. The doctor managed to harness the very concept of the malachor in this powder. A single pinch ingested by someone would be enough for them to be afflicted by the disease. With the quantities that you brought me, hundreds of people could be contaminated. <sighs> it's terrifying. I cannot believe a silly would do such a thing. Here, these are my notes. I wrote down all the details of my experiments as well as my conclusions. Thank you. I will relay them to the prosecutor. What is your purpose here? I help Dr. Anur to understand the research of my former master. He's the one who became his successor. I do hope that he doesn't use the same methods. Of course not. What about your other colleagues? What's become of them? They felt guilty. They stopped their experiments and returned to al Saad. Are you prepared to testify against Dr. Asili? Yes. I kept silent for far too long about what was going on in that lab. I know what we did was wrong, and I do not want it to happen again. Thank you. Your story could change the outcome of this trial. I must leave you. What she saw working alongside a silly obviously upset her. She will make an excellent witness.
Doctor... Doctor Honor. What do you want? What is your role and what is your research topic? I'm in charge of the Governor's laboratories. My main research concerns the Malachor, of course. Above all, we searched for a way to reduce the suffering of the sick. Searched? Now that we have access to my colleague Asili's work, it gives us hope of finding a cure. So the crimes he committed while conducting his work do not concern you? He will be judged for that. But it would be a shame for him to have done all this for nothing. What do you think of Dr. Asili now that you've learned how he conducted his research? Well, obviously the few excesses he has conceded himself are unfortunate, but he remains the greatest scientist that the Alliance has ever known. His work has had a profound effect on science. It seems quite unfair to me to reduce his life's work just to what he has done lately. If I understand correctly, you will be one of his defenders. Naturally. I don't deny that he made a terrible mistake, but he meant well. And he was probably acting on behalf of our helplessness to combat the Malachor. Would you agree to speak at the trial? Your influence could be crucial. Oh, but I already intended to give a statement. His lawyer came to find me. So are you ready to defend a man who used to torture and murder to advance his research? Indeed. Because I think the entire work of a scientist should not be judged on a single mistake. It is obvious that he should not have used such methods, but a silly has never been very political. I doubt he understood the implications of his actions. So you're saying the only problem in this case is political? Essentially, yes. The war he nearly caused could have been expensive for our governor and the city, but let's not fool ourselves. No tears will be shed over the fate of a few of those bloodthirsty savages. Afra, did you have something to say to Dr. Honor? Thank you, Dasade. I feel it is my duty to warn him. You probably know that I was one of Dr. Isili's students. Naturally. It is undoubtedly under his influence that you have developed this remarkable analytical spirit. Perhaps. But my analytical mind also pushed me to refuse to continue working with him. I saw his madness and cruelty grow deeper. And what we discovered in this laboratory was abominable. We must condemn him, not only so he can pay for this crime, but to free science from these kinds of abject methods. Very well. You've convinced me. I will now testify for the prosecution. It is true that it's time to turn the page and leave his cruel methods behind. Thank you, Doctor. Dr. Anur is an influential scholar. His testimony would convince the judges. Poison on my blade. Then let's go! Let's see if 
can ward off this fate! Doctor... Doctor, on... Thank you. Blasts. Greet. I was honored by your visit. Please come back whenever you want. Excellency, it's... Thanks for your visit. Come closer. Come closer.
Mr. Sarde, what can I do for you? I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. Sir, good people. The cure in Royal.